hi everyone this is a quick tutorial on how I created this eye look uh, it's kind of a cut crease um, makeup look that I used palette one to do so if you guys like this look then please just keep on watching okay so I have already got my foundation blush and everything like that done including my brows um, so I am just going to be doing the one eye in this video so just using a very fluffy brush and using palette one I'm just lightly tapping it into chipper and then tapping off the excess and then starting on the outer corner um, in the crease just moving the brush forwards and backwards from the inner corner to the outer corner okay so I've purposely left the uh, blending clips quite unedited I haven't tried to cut out too much of it as I did want to show you guys exactly how I've created this look I know that a lot of um, youtubers and that they'll tend to edit out quite a lot of the blending process and I, but I didn't want to do that for you guys I wanted you to actually see exactly how I've created this look without making it a little bit too long and boring for you quick tip if you hold onto the end of your brush it actually creates a much softer blending um, application so just going into fourth right which is a really nice dark matte brown just very lightly dabbing into it with another blending brush and then starting on the outer corner working my way in I'm only really concentrating these shadows in the crease area and then softly blending those two shades together like so okay so I like to use the eye primer um, you don't need a lot of this this is what I'm going to be using uh, with this brush which is a flat rounded edge brush and then I'm going to softly carve out the crease area I'm also creating a little kind of winged effect so as you get towards the outer corner of your eye I'm then flicking the eye primer out This is me deciding on which shimmer to use. I've decided to go with Brassy. So I like to use, I mean you can use the Victoria Splurge if you want to. That is a really nice base to use. And um, that's what I prime my whole eyelid with before applying any um, eyeshadows. That's the one Charlie, well done. Um, so I'm just lightly patting it on and then stroking it across to really blend it across the whole lid. Uh, so yeah, I like to use the eye primer to do this part. Um, simply because the shimmers really, really show up on the top of an eye primer as opposed to a um, nude eyeshadow. So just taking a really soft brush, I just went into a little bit of Sincere which is a little bit more silvery, silvery? <laughs> silvery um, than brassy so it just gives it a little bit extra shimmer and a bit of a pop so using one of these funky little brushes I'm just going to kind of intensify that crease area again just dabbing into chipper and forthright and yes my son is kissing the wall in the background <laughs> oh my god why have I only just noticed Oh dear God. Anyway, um, oh, he, he's totally distracted me now. Um, so yeah, I'm just taking this brush and lightly blending out the whole shadows, blending them out together and towards the brow bone. So taking another soft blending brush. This is a really, really soft blending brush. Just went into a bit of chipper and I'm just blending it right into the lash line. And then as we get to the outer edge, I was just lightly flicking it out. Okay, so this is the Moodstruck Precision Pencil, and this is the shade Perfect. 
So I'm just applying this right into my waterline and then I'm creating a slight wing. These pencils are water resistant and they are also smudge proof. So once they are set, they are pretty damn set. To create the flick at the end, I just really lightly brush it on. So don't worry if your liner's not as neat, um, simply because I tend to go over my liners anyway with some eyeshadow as well. So this is actually um, an eyebrow brush, uh, the small angled eyebrow brushes. So I just dabbed a little bit into fourth right and I'm just going over the top of the liner. So this also kind of sets the liner as well, but also it softens it because it's not a harsh black. So just a little bit of inner corner highlight because you can't you can't not do that. So I'm using sincere and also applying a little bit on my brow bone. It always helps if you curl your lashes, especially uh, mine, uh, they tend to grow quite straight. Um, so we are on to the mascara. So you always want to start off with the transplanting gel first. Because uh, if you just try and apply the fibres straight onto your lashes, they're all just going to fall off and not do anything. So this just applies like a normal mascara. So these are the fibres. So straight away you will instantly tell the volume of my lashes is suddenly and amazingly increased it looks fantastic can't forget those lower lashes I'm not really one for putting the fibres on my lower lashes you can if you like that kind of a look but I'm not really that fussed by it so you just want to go back in with the transplanting gel just to lock in those fibres and smooth set the whole look Okay, so I'm going to do this eye off camera and I'll be back in a bit. Okay guys, so this is the complete look. Uh, this is actually the complete look about seven hours after. I was going to do this video earlier but I kind of got a little bit too busy and had to do stuff with the boys and I just completely forgot. Um, so it is actually now... Uh, it's like five to eight uh, nearly so I did this video I recorded it at about between 12 and half past so yeah I've had this on for quite a few hours um, admittedly my lip gloss has gone it's wore off now um, but yeah everything else is pretty much the way that I put it on I mean the eyeliner in my waterline, I mean, it's gone a little bit there, but to be honest, for like between seven and eight hours, that is pretty good. I don't think I've ever had an eyeliner stay on the waterline for that long um, without me having to reapply it. Um, so, yes. <gasps> ah! Anyway. I am going to love you and leave you now, so I hope that you enjoy the rest of your evening, and I will speak to you guys soon. Bye!